The five senses just decode vibrational information into electrical signals, send it to the brain, and the brain decodes it into this construct that we think is outside there, but it's actually inside us. The only place this world exists, a so-called so solid world, a three-dimensional world, is out there, is uh, out there we think, but actually it doesn't exist out there. Out there is just vibrational fields. It exists in here as we construct it. Um, and even the brain is a, is a decoded construct of the, uh, uh, as well. It's, it's on an energetic level that we do the decoding, really. Um, and this is very, very important because what the manipulator, manipulators do, because they've hoarded this basic knowledge and passed it over at the highest level of the secret society network and right. sucked yep. it out of public circulation, yep. they know that if we look out there for answers, believing that there is an out there, instead of illusory, project, illusory projections going on in here, then we're never going to change anything. Yep. Never going to change anything. And uh, once you go, ah, there's no out there, so where's it coming from? Oh, it's coming from in here, so this is where I have to change. Oh, there you go. It's what I call, um, and this is what most people do because of the suppression of this understanding is they stand in the movie theater and they shout at the screen because they don't like the movie. And people say, you're crazy, you're never gonna change the movie, shout at the screen, go back to the projection room, change the reel if you don't like the movie. And the, the projection is deep within us, you know. Some research I saw recently says that uh, about only 5% of behavior and decisions that we make are with the conscious mind. I would actually, I would say that's not correct, personally. I'd say 100% of what happens in this three-dimensional reality, it's only in our head, actually is a projection. And the conscious mind is actually not the decision maker at all. It's the observer and experiencer of it. Um, and um, it's like, it literally is the same principle as a, a movie um, projector, which comes from within, within what we call the subconscious, where all those patterns are there which we're being influenced by and are, are affecting our projection and our reading of it. And it comes out of the subconscious. And by the time it hits the screen in here, symbolically on the movie theater, it's a done deal. This is where the change has to take place within us to change the projection, which is our conscious mind's experience. And people are so caught in the conscious mind as, as that's the only level. I mean, they hear talk about subconscious and all that stuff, but really, it's, I, I thought it. Well, how come that experiments have shown that um, the electrical changes and muscular changes um, to make an action happen, um, are, happen a split second before the conscious mind has decided to do it? It's because they're playing it out.